Welcome yeah. back to the show. Well, Dickie is here with a very special interview now. That is right, Carlos. Look, he's one of the most influential singer-songwriters of all time. And he's in the country right now on his 50th anniversary tour, which kicked off at Perth Arena last night. Before he hit the stage, I had the pleasure of talking to the man known and loved as Cat Stevens. It's nice to be back here in Australia again, and I think uh, Perth always is a great place to start. He will, of course, be playing the hits as his show takes us on his musical journey, but he'll also paying respect to some of his peers. I'm a Beatles fan, anyway. I'm just number one Beatles fan. So um, I also sing some of their songs. That, that kind of helps um, kind of the milestones uh, along my journey also, because they had such a big impact on, um, on me and all, all, the, all the generation, obviously, and music to follow. So exactly which Beatles songs? Well, you'll have to wait until you see the show. It's it. <laughs> no, I sing from me to you, from me to you. Uh, you know, it's like, a, yeah. And I also go into my little record player and I'll pull out the old Please Please Me album, the first album I played, Twist and Shout. So we all followed their career and I, I just like to go back to that when I, when I tell my story. He has many wonderful stories about breaking into the music scene in the 60s with a string of hits. I, I just started uh, back in the 60s and you know, I was touring with Hendrix. I became a bit of a slave to the business and that, that kind of destroyed me in a way and so I got, I got a, a second chance when I came back and it's those songs I think that most people remember. Now there's a way and I know that I have to go away. And returning three years later with the phenomenal Tea for the Tiller Man. You know, Father and Son, Wild World, that was all kind of in the 70s. My musical history, it began back there and when I think about how it's affected, how it actually almost foretold my story in some some way it was kind of strange and mysterious and I think that's a lot of, a lot of um, mystery in there for people to think about and ponder and ponder he did in 1977 changing his name to Yusuf Islam upon becoming a Muslim and stopped playing pop music for years while embarking on a spiritual journey I did a bit of walkabout you know I mean so I think you know about that <laughs> in Australia um, I don't think it was brave it was just a necessary thing for me to do because um, my, my goals in life after I'd reached all the material success you know my goals in life were seriously not to do with, with that but to do with um, my, my inner self my character yes I'm being followed by a moon shadow moon shadow moon shadow eventually you have to follow some kind of path there has to be a kind of you know, a right side and wrong side, um, uh, uh, you know, to drive on. And so um, that's, that took me time to get there. And when I did get there, I said, well, I'm, go I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, please, train, take this country. Come take me home again. So who does he think are the major players in the business today? I think Ed Sheeran is, is very good. I mean, one guy doing all that, I think that he's going to probably find it a bit more difficult to find a subject to write about <laughs> um, after a while, but because he's so prolific, you never know, he's going he's to come up with something. Oh, I love him. What a body of work. Cat Stevens' 50th anniversary tour continues in Adelaide on Saturday before heading elsewhere around the country. Tickets on sale at Ticketek. We have all those details on our website and his latest studio album, The Laughing Apple, <laughs> which includes remakes of some of his massive hits, is out now. There Tea for the Tillerman is still one of my favourite albums mm. of all time. Oh. Miles from Nowhere. Teaser in the fight. Guess I'll yeah. take my time. Wonderful. He's just mm. a... Just a just a great influential artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you, Dickie. It's a really good interview, Dickie. Thank you. Well, the news.